Recent investigations by the United Nations Group of Experts on Congo, as well as Human Rights Watch research, provide significant photographic and other evidence that Rwanda is not only giving logistical support to the M23, but that Rwandan troops are reinforcing or fighting alongside the armed group inside Congo. The Rwandan government has denied supporting the M23 rebels. In this video, we will look at the current situation, presenting both sides of the story to see how accurate these allegations are. Meanwhile, please leave your comments in the comment section below to give us more insights and newer perspectives on this topic. Also, please help us reach our goal of getting to 100,000 subscribers before the end of this month. The Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, known for its abundant natural resources and diverse populace, has long been embroiled in a complex web of conflicts. However, recent revelations have shed light on a disturbing aspect of this crisis. Allegations of Rwanda's involvement in sponsoring armed groups within Congolese territory, exacerbating the suffering of innocent civilians. This article aims to delve deep into the intricate dynamics of the conflict, examining the evidence, the humanitarian consequences, and the international response. The Rwanda-backed M23 armed group has emerged as a central actor in the ongoing turmoil in eastern DRC. The roots of the M23 rebellion can be traced back to 2012, when former members of the National Congress for the Defense of the People, CNDP, a Tutsi-led rebel group, mutinied against the Congolese government. The group, named after the March 23, 2009 peace agreement that they claimed was not fully implemented, quickly gained control of territory in North Kivu province. Since its inception, the M23 has been accused of grave human rights violations, including summary executions, forced recruitment, and sexual violence against civilians. Recent reports by the United Nations Group of Experts on Congo and Human Rights Watch have provided compelling evidence of these atrocities. The reports highlight the role of Rwandan support in bolstering the M23's military capabilities and enabling its brutal campaign against civilians in eastern DRC. Photographs and testimonies collected by various organizations paint a grim picture of Rwandan involvement in fueling the conflict. Rwandan troops are allegedly providing logistical support to the M23 rebels, reinforcing or even fighting alongside them inside Congolese territory. Despite vehement denials by the Rwandan government, mounting evidence suggests a troubling reality. Rwanda's complicity in exacerbating the suffering of Congolese civilians. The humanitarian consequences of the conflict in eastern DRC have been devastating. The renewed hostilities by the M23 the Congolese army and various other armed groups have forced more than 520,000 people to flee their homes, according to the United Nations. This has exacerbated an already catastrophic security and humanitarian situation in North Kivu and the broader eastern region. Reports from the ground paint a grim picture of the suffering endured by civilians caught in the crossfire. Human Rights Watch's interviews with survivors and witnesses reveal the profound impact of violence and displacement on individuals and communities. Behind every statistic lies a human story of tragedy and resilience, underscoring the urgent need for justice and support for those affected by the conflict. The humanitarian crisis unfolding in eastern DRC has left hundreds of thousands of people in desperate need of assistance. Médecins Sans Frontières has warned of a potential health disaster as cholera spreads rapidly in camps for displaced people outside Goma, the North Kivu provincial capital. The lack of access to basic services, including food, clean water, and health care, has further compounded the suffering of vulnerable populations. In response to the mounting evidence of Rwanda's alleged support for the M23 rebels, the international community has called for action. United States Secretary of State, Antony Blinken and European nations have condemned Rwanda's alleged involvement, urging the country to halt its assistance to the M23. However, Diplomatic statements must be backed by concrete measures to address the root causes of the conflict and ensure accountability for those responsible for human rights violations. The African Union and its member states have a crucial role to play in exerting pressure on Rwanda to end its support for the M23 and other armed groups operating in the region. Sanctions against senior M23 commanders must be upheld, sending a clear message that impunity will not be tolerated. Furthermore, International efforts should focus on addressing the underlying grievances and promoting sustainable peace and development in the DRC.
The allegations of Rwanda's involvement in the conflict in Congo underscore the urgent need for international cooperation and concerted efforts to address the root causes of violence and instability in the region. Only through collective action and a commitment to human rights and justice can we hope to build a more peaceful and prosperous future for the people of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The humanitarian crisis unfolding in eastern DRC is not just a localized conflict. It is a symptom of broader regional tensions and geopolitical maneuvering. Rwanda's alleged sponsorship of the M23 rebellion has not only exacerbated the suffering of Congolese civilians, but has also raised serious questions about the stability of the entire Great Lakes region. As the international community grapples with the complexities of the conflict, it is crucial to acknowledge the interconnectedness of the issues at hand and the need for a comprehensive approach to address them. Recent developments, including the blocking of South Africa's troops by Rwanda, further underscore the volatile nature of the situation. The standoff between Rwanda and South Africa, a key player in the region, highlights the competing interests and geopolitical rivalries that continue to fuel the conflict. It also serves as a stark reminder of the challenges involved in achieving a peaceful resolution to the crisis. The blocking of South Africa's troops, who are part of the SADC mission in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Sam Ederik, is a troubling development that threatens to escalate tensions and undermine efforts to address the root causes of the conflict. It underscores the need for increased diplomatic efforts and multilateral cooperation to de-escalate the situation and pave the way for a sustainable peace process. Moving forward, the international community must redouble its efforts to hold those responsible for human rights violations and atrocities accountable. This includes not only the M23 rebels, but also any state actors, including Rwanda, that are found to be complicit in supporting or facilitating the conflict. Sanctions and other targeted measures should be considered to deter further aggression and incentivize constructive engagement in peacebuilding efforts. At the same time, efforts to address the underlying grievances and promote reconciliation among the various ethnic and political groups in the DRC must be prioritized. This includes addressing issues of governance, corruption, and resource management, which have long fueled conflict and instability in the region. Only through a holistic approach that addresses both the immediate humanitarian needs and the underlying structural causes of the conflict can a lasting peace be achieved. In conclusion, the humanitarian crisis in Eastern DRC is a complex and multifaceted challenge that requires a coordinated and sustained response from the international community. Rwanda's alleged sponsorship of the conflict, including the blocking of South Africa's troops, underscores the urgency of the situation and the need for concerted action to prevent further escalation. By working together to address the root causes of the conflict and promote peace and reconciliation, we can help pave the way for a brighter and more stable future for the people of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and the broader Great Lakes region.